here's a little bit about what's happening when you go out into nature, what's happening with your nervous system. Um, so basically your nervous system is, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> um, your nervous system is basically just there to take in energies and convert them into other types of energies in order to calibrate your body as a system. So when you come into the world, you are a perfectly calibrated, harmonious being, or at least ideally you are. That's how we are designed and different things happen around birth. Um, and that's a different talk, but um, essentially you come in with this nervous system and all it is is this transducer for energies. And what it does is it takes in energies, whether it's food or nourishment that way, or it's light or it's sound or it's um, love through hugs and um, responsive touch and things like that. And it uses the energies that it's taking in to continually calibrate itself into a state of harmony so that it can efficiently grow and um, efficiently, more efficiently evolve more, a higher level of consciousness to the system of your body. So when you come out into nature or when you are in any environment, there's this constant thing that's happening where your brain is trying to take in all of the energies that you are paying attention to or that your brain is paying attention to on any level and it's using those in an effort to calibrate where your system is and try to establish a more harmoni harmonious system of um, energy. And so if you come out into nature and the energetic um, inputs that you're getting are sounds that come from things like crickets or um, squirrels or the wind blowing through the trees or um, the steps of your own feet on the ground, on the gravel, um, anything like that. Silence, natural organic silence is very different than the type of silence that you get if you're in an inorganic type of space where they cut off all access to different energies in order to create kind of a false sense of silence. But there's a very different type of silence that you get if you go out into the world and, there, and find silence in nature. All of these environments are there and available to everybody and all you have in order to create harmony within your system. So if you're feeling, so this translates to better feeling better emotionally and also just helps you to process all the different stressful things that are always happening. Um, if you can take yourself and really focus in and um, intent, you know, with great intention, take in different energy forms that are ones that are natural, i.e. they're calibrated with the planet, then you have a way more efficient mechanism for harmonizing your, your nervous system. Um, and that's everything. It's all, it's health, it's um, mental health, wellness, mood, consciousness. Um, it's your ability to cognize ideas and um, your ability to construct plans that give you hope your ability to um, brainstorm new um, new stuff, new stuff that's like just completely outside of what you're used to thinking about. Because really what, what's happened is that we've all gotten so far away from energetic inputs that are actually natural and organic and I'm not talking about food and trying to be judgy about stuff like food but that you know can that can kind of go hand in hand too um, but you have to be careful um, not to judge what we what our bodies want to eat um, as good or bad um, but if you can with intention either expose yourself to energies that just make you feel joyful whether that's music that you like or um, art 
art or participating in activities that you like, those are also inputs of energies that um, create a better sense of harmony for yourself than you are. And especially if you can go out into nature and for just a couple minutes meditate and just try to see how many of the different noises and um, non-noises that you can hear that your body perceives, just close your eyes or don't close your eyes. You can take in this stuff for your eyes too. Um, the more that you can pay attention to the things that are around you in the environment, that is the mechanism through which we can calibrate our energetic systems and reestablish harmony. So find sound baths. Don't feel like you have to have expensive sound bowls in order to heal yourself because you go out into nature and the world recognizes you as part of it and all the noises and the energies that are out in nature are there to help you calibrate your systems and that's all that's all we are we're just in a, we're just beings with a very very complex system of energy trans transduction and transmission and we are capable of taking in an infinite, <laughs> countless types of energies, but we are always, the reason that we take them in is in order to um, establish harmony for ourselves. And so take advantage of your body's natural ability to do this because it craves it. And when it gets false inputs, that's what it clings to. And so you're calibrating your system to stuff that's getting your inner compass out of whack and that's what causes dis-ease causes disease and dis-ease causes um, issues with mental health um, racing thoughts stress um, you know I have a belief that I think that the vast majority of people in Western society are going around um, with their fight-or-flight systems just activated all the time um, and so I think there's a vital need to try to start tuning into what energies are around us and what we're taking in and what we're paying attention to. And I think it's kind of fun to notice what's around you and what your brain is wanting to pay attention to and let it have access.